I've been joined by Jimmy Walker, and, and uh, Jimmy is the, the safety consultant that we bring in, and uh, you and I are going through another volunteer protection program inspection starting the week of January 19th, not our first rodeo. Uh, no, sir. I think it's our fourth go-around altogether. Exactly, and, and uh, you and I started at Grand Gulf uh, before this was cool, before it was cool to get nuclear plants as voluntary protection program and uh, and, and working to, to get that plant through and a lot of changes since then. And talk a little bit about the preparation, how you feel about this organization and its readiness. Well, absolutely, Bob. I think the site is really poised for an effective uh, recertification. Uh, we came in June and did a readiness assessment, and the site did very well. Of course, like any assessment, there are some gaps. So over the next few weeks, uh, myself, uh, the VPP ambassadors, and the site safety team will be looking at uh, the gap closure effectiveness. So we're really on target there. And, uh, you know, the site has done a fantastic job over the last few years, really making improvements in the site physical condition, employee involvement, uh, the programs and procedures. But we struggled with... Uh, injuries, OSHA record bull injuries. And now with the, with the safety leadership training we did in the summer, uh, as well as the PWR owners group, WOG window owners, uh, and the safety work plans, we had an OSHA free outage, which is really where we wanted to be. And we want to use that and leverage that as the turning point in safety for the site to really get us down into the, the second and then the first quartile for injuries. So a couple of things uh, you know, for the upcoming uh, assessment is OSHA really looks heavily upon uh, the management commitment and employee involvement mm -hmm. uh, for the site. So that's the really the critical point for the, for the assessment. They're gonna say at least 50 to 60% of uh, Palo Verde becoming successful as recertification is based on interviews. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that the site can really get rally around and, and, and take to heart is, what do you do as a site to support the four elements, not only as a site, but in your departments and individually, how do you support those? And how does that translate into the four safeties? So we have some really good stuff. Uh, if you go on the Palo Verde homepage, and you go to the upper left-hand corner, and you click on the VPP Star Work site, it takes you to the VPP page where there is just a plethora of things that, that you can gain knowledge from, learn about, uh, and see what the site has done uh, with VPP and safety throughout the past three plus years. So you, you talked to the people a little bit, and uh, we talked about what to talk about d during the interviews. And the interviews, as you talked about it, is a big deal. And uh, talked about some of the things that we do that they don't even think about de being different. The leadership model, the standards and expectations we have, and the fact that we talk about the four safeties every day. And all four of those roll into creating that 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 strong environment around safety. And you and I led, led a discussion where we talked about the importance of safety culture. And talk a little bit about how you feel safety culture rolls into this voluntary protection program inspection. You're right, Bob. Uh, safety culture really is the, the pinnacle or, or the, the, the point of culmination of all of safety, you know, industrial, radiological, nuclear, and safety culture. So it all plays together, and the safety culture is the, the binding element that brings it all together that employees can raise concerns, get things answered, get things done. So it really is the key to success, not just in, in VPP, but in the success of Palo Verde moving forward.